Now, my accident almost nine years ago now, it's flown by. Playing for England in the 21s, we did a scrummaging session and we, we hit the scrummaging uh, quite a few times and then we went into live scrummaging. Um, we were fighting out for that starting place on the Friday night um, and I hit the scrum and uh, the scrum collapsed and um, basically left me paralysed from the neck down, unable to breathe about the aid of a ventilator and um, Tony Spreadbury, the referee that day, uh, actually resuscitated me on the pitch and kept me alive. Obviously my life changed um, in a number of ways. It was pretty tough to initially, but I think it happened for a reason, and that reason was to start the Matt Amundsen Foundation. It's great, you know, it gives, it gives me a purpose, it gives me something to, to focus on and channel my energy into, and I, I love it. You find yourself getting annoyed about, you know, things not going right at home or the bills, but then, you know, if you take yourself out of that situation and think about Hambo, how positive he is and sort of the situation he's you know having to experience but if anything he's probably become stronger because of his chair because you know he's had to overcome this and as a character you know he's an inspirational well he's an inspiration to thousands of people now he's been an inspiration to uh, to all of us you know uh, uh, to someone that you know that's been talented as matt you know got an injury now you know it's not just like sitting at home and uh, feel sorry for himself. Uh, he just like go around uh, uh, having a good laugh, having a drink, you know, uh, mix up with, uh, with with the record boys. He lives a fuller life than anyone I know. Uh, and it, you know, in the morning, I've got, you know I retire with bad knee, really bad knee. But you know, some mornings it's, it's sore, but it's nothing compared to what he goes through. And, and, and he just gets on with it. I've never heard him complain. Whether you're an ambassador or not, the fact that if Hambo asks you as a favour. You do it for him because you know he doesn't have to help the guys he's helping. You know the guys that are in you know similar positions to he is, but he does, and so that's kind of you know an inspiration to us. And we feel you know yeah we should help him out. Well, I absolutely love it. Best job I've ever had. I've only had two jobs: rugby player and handbow. So this is the best one. It's a privilege to, uh, to be involved with Foundation because, you know, uh, it's a really good cause, not now just only for Matt, but it's for all the interest players and people that got, you know, the same sort of interest around the UK and around the world. Crouch! I feel the, the new scrum laws are uh, fantastic because I think it gives the teams... Um, it's, it's still very competitive and I think they're working really well if you look at the statistics of how many collapsed scrums it's it's only it's a, it's a really good call. The scrum is one of the areas that people can get seriously injured and, and yeah it's good that they've tried to make it as safe as possible. Um, I don't want the scrum to be out of the game at all I want the big guys I want tall guys I want fast guys you, you've got to have different people in rugby and, and that's what makes rugby special. When the laws were first introduced it was a bit like well, it's a bit frustrating because you know Leicester pride themselves in their scrums, and you know this is kind of taking the gauge away, which was a huge, uh, huge weapon we had in terms of safety, which is obviously the reason why it's being brought in. You know, if it stops terrible accidents like Ham to Hambo and you know other players, then it probably is needed. The support I've received over the years, especially from Leicester Tigers, has been amazing. Um, you know, I owe them so much, and um, it's. I want to keep that momentum going and I want to make people aware of um, of disabled disabled people and, and disability and uh, it's been a huge success and um, we just need to, we're just having more and more people approaching us all the time for help so we just need to keep the momentum going really.